During the time in the Renaissance that Dürer was alive, many advances were made in the Renaissance style and technique. These were chiefly made possible by the wealthy Medici, a banking family and unfaltered patron to the arts. The Renaissance was highly influenced by the spread of humanism, which renewed people's interest in classical art and culture, and inspired artists to create lifelike poses and anatomy. But Renaissance artists didn't copy the classical era. They added new aspects, such as emotion and perspective. Perspective is how artists created the illusion of a 3D object on a flat surface, and involves depth. Depth has a lot to do with size. Making an object smaller, as well as the opposite, makes things look farther and closer. Artists also learn to mimic our eyesight by having lines come closer together as they recede into the distance. Science and mathematics were also involved in the advances made. Artists studied anatomy and geometry to create their art. Science also allowed new resources, such as oil paint, which was made from a mixture of powdered pigments and linseed oil. It was thicker, dried more slowly, and allowed layering. Albert Dürer used this paint to his advantage. Albert was born in 1471 as the son of a goldsmith in Nuremberg, Germany. He had a varied education as a child, and at 15 was training with a well-known painter and printmaker. He studied math, Latin, and classical literature, and as a young man began to travel through Germany, Italy, and the Netherlands. On his travel, he became friends with many humanist writers and thinkers. He also studied classical sculpture for multiple years in a successful attempt to learn proportions and proper anatomy. He grew into a fashionable and confident man. He took an intellectual approach to life, and it showed in his art, as he asked himself, what is beauty? He gained many achievements in the days he had, and his art still holds high esteem. His style was a mixture of the detailed art he had learned from his hometown and the perspective and idealized beauty he had gathered knowledge of from Italy. His art often showed religious figures, but also consisted of some mythical scenes, a series of self-portraits, and varying royal and wealthy patrons. He worked for many years as a court artist for Holy Roman Emperor Maximilian I. He also wrote a book on proportionality that is still read today. He's most well known in history, however, for his masterful engravings and woodcuts. They're basically a large stamp and were often used as ways to publish illustrations into books. The difference between the two is simply the material used. An engraving uses a hard material, such as metal per se, whereas woodcuts are consistently made of wood.